welcome everybody to another FOSS 365 video. Well, I've been away for a while, so I decided that I'm going to try a different flavor of Linux, and I'm going to try and use the new Ubuntu Studio 1710. So I've installed it, and I figured that uh, I would basically go on a journey with you, and I'll show you how I set up some of the programs that I use. The default programs in Ubuntu Studio are great, but um, there are some caveats, such as Blender. I like to use, I've got two uh, GTX 970 graphics cards that I like to use, and unfortunately, right out of the box, Ubuntu Studio 1710 doesn't support GPU rendering. So there's a couple of things you need to do. The first thing that you'll want to do is you want to go to your settings manager, open that up, and you'll see additional drivers here. After you click on it, you'll see that it searches for available drivers. And you'll see that I'm already using the NVIDIA Corporation's drivers for my GTX 970 cards because it's highlighted right here. So in order to use GPU rendering in Blender, you have to click this uh, radio button here and install the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, this other proprietary driver is for my AMD CPU. You might see this, you may not, depends on what CPU you're using. I'm also, I, I've selected that as well. You click on apply the changes. It takes a little while for that all to download and install. Um, and then it will ask you to reboot your machine. So after you reboot your machine, you figure you're all set, right? So you go here and you go to your video production and you open up Blender. And it opens up Blender 2.78C, which does support GPU rendering. So if I go to Cycles rather than the Blender rendering engine here, I see that it has device, CPU, and GPU. And it's grayed out because I haven't selected the Blender program to use my graphics cards yet. You have to go to File, User Preferences, hit the System button, and then usually here in the left-hand side, you'll, you'll have a selection for your graphic card for your CUDA drivers. It says Cycles Compute Device, and it says None. So there's something wrong here. And there's a couple of things you can do in order to fix this really the hard way I believe is to download the CUDA development package so that this program works with your GPU graphic card but there's an easier way at least I feel it's an easier way so what we're going to do is we're going to close out of that download the latest version of Blender so let's go to the Blender website Let's download the latest version for my machine, which is 2.79. Click here. And we're going to download it. Click Save. And it shouldn't take too long. So we want to download the latest Blender software because the GPU CUDA drivers are already compiled in the versions that you'll download from Blender. So you won't have to worry about downloading any development CUDA drivers or anything like that. So now that we've downloaded it, let's go ahead and go to the download section. I right click here, open a new window, which opens a file manager. I'll click on my home icon and then I'll go to downloads and there is my compressed folder for Blender 279. So let's right click and let's cut that. Let's go back to my home folder and right click here and create a new folder. And when you create a new folder, I just call it apps. Um, I'm not going to say create because I've already done that. I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to go into my apps folder and you'll see that um, you can right click here and you can paste it. And I'm going to replace all. You can see I already have it here, but I'm going to replace it. I'm going to delete this folder and we'll start from scratch. So now you have the compressed folder and your apps or compressed file in your apps folder. 
let's right click and let's extract it here and you'll see it slowly extracting the file I'm going to rename the folder here to just blender.279 so we'll wait for it to finish up we're almost done okay now we'll right click here and we'll rename this to just blender2.79 So now if we open this, you'll see a blender icon. So now if you double click this blender icon, it will open 2.79, which also supports GPU rendering. So we'll switch this to cycles, change that to GPU compute. We also have to come over here and click file, go into user preferences, and click on the systems button. And now you'll see you have a CUDA compute device over here and it sees both of my GTX 970 cards so just make sure both of those are checked and click save user settings because we're going to be using the cycles render and GPU computing you will get better performance if you go down here to the performance tab and in the X and Y you change that from 64 to 256 so I'll change both of those to 256 now if I hit the render button up here and render the image, you'll see it renders using my cycles renderer real fast with my GPU card. So that's the easy way to get it to render with GPU in my opinion. Okay. The only problem with that is now when I click in my menu item and I go to click on Blender it's going to run my 2.78 not my 2.79 so you can fix that as well by clicking here going to your video production right clicking on blender and click on edit application so when you click on edit application this pops up and all you have to do is rather than the command saying blender percent f here click the folder and go to your home section go to your apps in your blender 279 and then click on the blender executable here then save it and now when you click on your video production and click on blender it opens your 2.79 so I like it this way because now I can go to blender anytime I want and download the latest greatest version of blender and all I have to do is make sure that I change the um, change the location that it's looking for blender and my preferences when I right click here and add it application okay so Hopefully you learned something. This gets it, us all set up and ready to go again. <laughs> do, do some more videos with uh, with Blender and, uh, and the Godot engine and and some other some other things like the video editor, Caden Live. So stick with me. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.